find length of loop given a link list of size n the task is to complete the function count nodes in loop that checks whether a given link list contains a loop or not and if the loop is present then return the count of nodes in a loop or else return zero see is the position of the node to which the last node is connected if it is zero then no loop okay so let's uh, check with this example so we are having 25 so we are having okay 25 uh, let me just copy this okay and uh, our text here and copy all this okay we have 25 uh, we have then 14 we have 90 then we have 33 okay then 10 then 21 then 39 90 58 and 45 now we are also given a value c right and this c means uh, it's the uh, the node from the front seat node from the front to which the last node is connected so here c is 4 so 1 2 3 4 so this is connected to here and now again this continues so this is a loop and we have to return 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 as the result so that's the question so what we need to do it's simply to find this length this length this will be 7 so we know uh, the approach we are already uh, will be very much familiar with the approach you know to find the loop in the linked list it's it can be uh, find easily by making use of uh, two pointers say a slow pointer and a fast pointer and while the fast is not equal to null and fast dot next is not equal to null like uh, both the slow and fast will be here we move slow one step ahead while we move fast two step ahead after that we again move our slow one step ahead then fast two step ahead then we move slow one step ahead then move fast two step ahead then move slow one step ahead now move fast two step ahead now move slow one step ahead now this is a loop after if we make uh, the fast to move two step ahead it reaches back to this 33 so fast reaches here now so move slow one step ahead now move this fast two step ahead okay move this slow one step ahead move this fast two step ahead so one two let me make sure it's working fine everywhere okay so we move slow uh, okay we reach here okay we reach here so this is fast this is slow okay so this uh, is the condition like where we are seeing a loop so if we see such conditions if uh, slow becomes fast this means we have a cycle now we need to find the length of this cycle which is 7 in this case so what we need to do so let's keep our fast here itself okay let's keep our fast there itself just move the slow to next of fast so slow is here okay now just keep on moving this slow until we reach as fast so let's have we have a length one here now we again move slow we have a length 2 now we again move slow okay we reach us here now we have a length 3 we again reach us uh, move uh, slow we have a length 4 we again move uh, the slow we have a length 5 we again uh, move slow we have a length 6 we again move the slow and we have a length 7 and this is equal to fast and this is where our loop ends and we just return 7 so that's the idea just find the point where slow is equal to fast our slow is the point that is moving one step ahead 
and first is the point that will be moving two step ahead it's the classical uh, hair and tortoise algorithm okay so then uh, find the point where fast and slow is equal it will be inside the cycle of course now just keep the fast point or slow point you can decide any of them because both are now pointing to the same now just uh, in my case like i am keeping the fast pointer there itself and i'm just moving the slow pointer to the next next dot fast dot next okay or slow dot next anything will work now just keep on moving the slow okay through this cycle until it reaches back to this fast and just uh, also keep track of the count just have a um, a length variable or the loop length variable and just keep on counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and at the end when it reaches back to this uh, fast that's the uh, whole cycle we, and we get the whole length just return that length so that's the idea here let's also have another example we have 1 0 we have 1 and 0 and uh, this is moving back to 1 and the zero is looping back to 1 so same approach so we have so we have a slow we have a fast okay now fast is not equal to null and fast dot next dot next is also not equal to null so we move the slow pointer one step ahead we move the uh, fast pointer two step ahead so it means fast reaches here and the next step it reaches back so fast is here itself now we again move slow one step ahead so our slow reaches here and at the same time we move fast two step forward so it reaches here so this means slow is equal to fast that means we are having a cycle now we need to find the length so we fix the fast here itself so 1 0 okay i fix the uh, fast here itself and i just move the slow one step ahead so tracking the count one now i just again move the slow one step ahead and the slow reaches back to one and now the length is two now slow and fast is pointing to the same node so slow is equal to fast so just return this two and two is the answer so that's the uh, uh, algorithm so uh, we can just try it out so if head is equal to equal to null just return zero we are not having any link list so there will won't be any cycle now let's have int uh, the cycle length which be equal to zero now as i told i i will be having a slow pointer and a fast pointer which are both initially pointing to the head so our slow pointer moves one step ahead while our fast pointer moves two step ahead so while the fast is not equal to null and and fast dot next is not equal to null so we move our slow one step ahead while the fast is moved two step ahead now we check if slow is equal to fast if slow is equal to fast then we are finding that slow is equal to fast inside the cycle so now i just move the slow one step ahead keeping the fast there itself so while um while uh, okay and i make cycle length is equal to 1 okay so now uh, slow is not equal to fast while slow is not equal to fast we increase the cycle length why i made cycle length equal to 1 means because we are just moving the slow to the next one and let's start counting from 1 from the so cycle length is equal to 1 so cycle length plus plus now move the slow pointer so this loops ends when our slow becomes equal to fast and just return the cycle length so uh, the uh, cycle length will be uh, returned inside this loop itself otherwise if we gets out of this loop it means that we are not having any cycle inside this linked list so at that time we need to return zero so here the time complexity is big of number of nodes inside the linked list and the time uh, space complexity we are not making use of any extra space so space complexity will be big of one so it's uh, the general other like the pointers 
two pointers, one moving one step ahead, one moving two step ahead. And it's uh, basically known as, I think, uh, hair and tortoise algorithm. Yeah. So we are getting seven. Okay, the other one. We need to get two. And we can submit. Don't have any, any network problem. It's just queuing. Some queue. Yeah, okay. So, that's uh, today's problem of the day. Find length of loop.